Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Chicks, and you are watching Chicks Tech Reviews. Today, I'm going to be reviewing another very affordable triple camera smartphone. So, this is Ulifone's Gemini, a flagship quality smartphone for under $130, which is quite incredible for what you're getting. So this has the MT6737T quad-core CPU running at 1.5 GHz. You have 3 gigs of DDR3 RAM, a 3250 milliamp battery which is more than sufficient to get you through the day and more. And the internal storage is 32 gigabytes. So this has a 5.5 inch LTPS screen with Gorilla Glass 3 and a full HD resolution. First impressions, it looks and feels very nice. Um, the back is made completely of metal and it's got a silver finish and it looks great. Um, just the top and bottom strips are made of plastic um, and the rest of the body is really nice aluminium metal um, and it looks and feels really really good. So I chose the silver colour but you can actually get this in gold and black. I actually like the look. It looks and feels really premium. It does actually feel like a premium flagship phone. Um, it's really thin. It's 9mm thin. Um, the design actually reminds me pretty much of the iPhone 6. So if I just bring in my iPhone 6s just to compare. Um, it's not a cut copy of the iPhone 6s but you will notice it's quite inspired by the iPhone. So the buttons, the rounded edges, um, the speaker grille. So quite a few things um, remind me of the Apple's iPhone success. Let's quickly go through the ports. So on the left you have a volume rocker and a power button. Um, the buttons actually look and feel really nice. Moving over to the top you've got a 3.5mm headphone jack. Keep going to the other side you've got a SIM card tray similar to the iPhone. You can put a micro SIM card on the top and on the other side you can put another micro SIM card, a nano SIM card or even a micro SD memory card. And a little lower from the SIM card tray, you have a record key. This is actually, in fact, a shutter button for your camera. Going towards the bottom, you will see a micro USB port, a microphone, and a speaker. So you also have a built-in fingerprint sensor to the home button, and we'll be testing that out in a bit. So this has two cameras. The top camera, the 13 megapixel, is for your photos and videos, but you have another 5 megapixel camera to capture depth of focus, enabling you to create great artistic images like these. So let's move on to the camera test. I just want to quickly show you there's a button here on the side, and that's actually a camera shutter button, a dedicated button for your camera. So what you do is, if you want to take a photo, just press that button. It will automatically open your camera app and you're ready to shoot. So I'm about to take some indoor footage and I'll put the samples of the photo and video on the screen for you to see. The shutter speed is yet to do quite fast and the photos still come out great. You also have a front facing 5 megapixel camera for your selfies and video chats. The camera itself takes nice and clear photos in good lighting situations and here are a few samples of both videos and photos. So this phone is running Android version 6, navigating around the menus, moving around um, feels really really swift and fast, um, I've not experienced any lag so far. Yulifone have actually announced that Android version 7 Nogar is coming soon for this and you'll be able to automatically install and upgrade that through OTA. So this is the default theme you've got when you first turn the phone on, but if you press these three dots on the right hand side, at the bottom you can easily change your wallpaper and you can see how quickly that changes and you can actually change the entire theme choose a theme that you like you've got some you've got five or six preset themes here 
So I'm going to keep it on this theme with the, with the rounded icons. That looks pretty nice. So there's no separate app drawer. Anything you install will appear directly on your pages, similar to how the iPhone works. You have built-in GPS, dual-band Wi-Fi, BGN, and also the phone supports 4G and 3G network sims. Okay, so let's check out some web browsing on this. As you can see, web browsing is very quick. Everything loads smooth. Um, there's no lag. You can pinch to zoom, and it looks great. Let's try playing a video from the browser. Oh, that looks really good. So you've got an amazing full HD display here and watching full HD YouTube videos from the web browser looks amazing. So here is the Google Play Store. You're able to install any app or game and also rent movies and stuff. Everything downloads and installs smooth and plays really well. Installing apps and games from the Play Store was very easy. I've already installed successfully a whole load of games and apps. So let's try out some gaming. So that was the gaming test. So I did play some heavy 3D games there, including Grand Theft Auto, Liberty City Stories, and uh, CSR Racing. And as you guys just saw, the games ran very smooth and fast. Um, there, there was no lag whatsoever. So let's test out full HD streaming on YouTube. So as you can see, you can play YouTube videos on a maximum resolution of 1080p at 60 frames per second. No mission too difficult. No sacrifice too great. Texas for a boy. Reorder and get access to the private beta first on PlayStation 4. So let's quickly test out Showbox on this and see how well it works. Just going to play a quick trailer. So I'm in a hotel room connected to the hotel Wi-Fi and I'm able to get total download speeds of 13.37 megabits per second and upload speeds of 15.49 megabits per second. So let's move on to the Antutu benchmark test. So there you have it guys, the Ulifone Gemini has achieved a total benchmark score of 40,094. So let's see how that compares to the others. So this is my list of top performing budget smartphones which cost under £150. Higher the score, better the overall performance of the smartphone. So the Ulifone Gemini has jumped straight into number 2 with an amazing benchmark score of 40,094. So in conclusion, this is a great budget handset which performs very well, has a very nice metal build quality which feels great in the hands and gives a nice premium feel to the handset. 
The Full HD screen looks amazing, especially when playing games or watching Full HD videos. Sound is also nice and loud and sound quality is great. Camera is pretty decent for shots taken in good lighting. However, in low lighting situations, focus and noise become an issue, but this is expected of a smartphone of this price range. The fingerprint sensor is very good, fast and accurate every single time. The Yulifone Gemini is available to buy for an amazing price of $125.99. So what I'll do is I'll put the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. And if you like it, you can of course go ahead and purchase one for yourselves. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it useful. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day.